Greetings, adventurers. It is I, Crumbless. And here we are with would-be King Oolong, I guess. King of the clerics of the Briggers Inn of the Light. Uh, sitting aboard the great raft, Bigger Boat. Uh, we're going to do a little uh, walk and uh, tour of the ship. I'm going to do my best with the controller. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this one. Uh, welcome to my boat. My name is Oolong, yeah. Right, let's do this. So starting up here at the poop deck. Uh, very important function that this performs. Decked out with some defensive flowers and uh, water arrangements and things like this. Uh, this all stems from originally thinking maybe I'll make a uh, a raft and, and not too big of a base, do something quaint. Uh, and then we met a ship specialist called Eric, who told us about, uh, told Ulon about uh, whales, giant whales that destroyed most of his vessel. Uh, and so Ulon took it upon himself to make a bigger boat that would be well proof. Uh, of course, mechanically, it's a land-based building uh, and not a raft. But uh, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy uh, the little tour. We've got some guest cabins here. A uh, couple of canvases that I've uh, not quite gotten around to painting. Uh, that's embarrassing. Maybe we'll edit this bit out. <laughs> but yeah, got some quaint little rooms going on. Uh, got a little uh, rear viewing uh, of the back here where you can see uh, the rear of the ship. The hangar where we put our flyers. Bring you to that in a moment. And yeah, here we go. This is a uh, walk through. Let's. This is the guest uh, quarters with the poop deck above. We've got guest cabin number one. Hopefully, this one's fully furnished. Yeah, there we go. Treasure chest. We've got a nice picture of a Quetzal up on the wall. And we've got bookshelves, personal fridge, mini bar, as as it were. We've got our little sunshine fleet mascot here charging us forward. Some comfy uh, seating. Uh, yeah, so basically the story of this one is let's not make a big boat. And then, oops, we made a ridiculously oversized boat. This has taken myself and particularly Purpley, who's playing the uh, uh, inimitable uh, sidekick, as it were, side quest extraordinaire. Uh, uh, Hubert Cumberd, Cumberd, Cumberdale, Cumberbatch. Anyway, one of those. And, uh, yeah, he's been gathering resources like a, troopy, a trooper. Uh, I've gathered quite a lot as well. Uh, let's move along the rear of the boat. Uh, I can show you uh, the throughway. way. Uh, we have these connecting. So we have two outriggers and a central raft, uh, which you can see there connected front and rear on both sides for uh, extra structural strength. Uh, we've got rear access here. Uh, a couple of forges, uh, as well as access up to the hangar through the stair system. Uh, which we'll show you that in a second. In fact, we can walk up there now. So walking on through here, got some extra storage space. Uh, but yeah, just a set of stairs that does the turn, comes back. This is the hangar area enough space for a few smaller flyers to mid-size to some eagles maybe even a quetzal if we uh if we ever see one uh on the server playing on the center huge shout out and thank you to uh undead baron and their crew admin team and all the goodly players playing along with us uh letting us uh, kind of get on with it and do whatever we want we've been doing some light role play uh, especially myself as Ulon and Hubert, because uh, we uh, different, you know, European time zones and whatnot. Don't always see everybody. Uh, yeah, let's go through to the other outrigger, which is where the greenhouse is. Uh, there's a little. Uh, oh, there's my bird park down there. Hey, chopper, get to the chopper. There's a door here with the ladder up to roof access on top of the greenhouse. We got some uh, ready, willing, and mostly capable 
uh, employees here. Scuba Steve and uh, Frostman. Uh, I just went out digging up some plants, putting them in plant pots, which is an absolutely amazing uh, Arc SA new feature, as far as I know anyway. I don't think it's a mod, but correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, so we've got somewhere to uh, grow bits and bobs that we need. Uh, we've got storage below decks. Uh, don't worry about that. That's not sealed up. I was supposed to show you the storage on the other side. Shh, you saw nothing. Uh, more front access here. This is Dribbles 2. Trek Dribbles, second of their name. On uh, Gun Turret Patrol. Here you can see the front of the raft. Uh, and the giant sail structure. As well as the very, very dodgy looking wind uh, direction indicator. <laughs> the wind power. Uh, and now we're passing through back into the central raft part of the boat. And this is the Dodo Dojo. Oh, yeah. This is where it, all the partying happens. We got a poker table. It's the Dodo Dojo. We got maps. We got Oh No You Dodo Didn't. Up there on the wall, we've got a menu here. Uh, with, uh, with some, uh, what do we got here? Drinks menu beer more beer and water uh with a new line of beer due soon tm so there you go here's where the brewing magic's happening here uh you got the uh gentleman's corner over here some reading material serving fresh steaks and bacon oh yeah we've got a little dwarven underground tunnel uh imagery going on there as well Look at our cooking pots. My goodness, we needed a lot of paint for this. A lot of berries. There's Mr. Freeze. Uh, and then out here to the foredeck, uh, we've got a little chill out area where you can have some uh, drinks, relax of an evening with friends. And uh, yeah, if anybody builds a square raft or a square building, you just get the cannon out and blow it up because box magic we don't like box magic don't do it folks there are better ways but anyway uh we've got a little uh little doggo here which uh, yeah i managed to pet him hey doggo how are you doing we've got the king's banquet all laid, laid, laid out or the cleric's banquet i should say i shouldn't be wearing the crown but whatever uh we got some portals uh looking out the front of the boat across to the great red redwoods on the other side there We'll get a better view in a minute. Here's some sailing ships from Days of Atlas Pass from the Sunshine Fleet. Always nice to bring them in. We'll see another reminder of those uh, in a moment. But I've laid out a nice little sort of banquet area here. Uh, we have to have a lot of X plants. Anyway, I would have them. But uh, on top of that, they also provide good defense. And here, yeah, here we go. Look. Sunshine Fleet memories. Happy sailing, gardening, blacksmithing, taming and breeding, and cooking, of course. Beautiful. Uh, here's the sign. So if you were in any doubt, bigger boat. It's on the front instead of the rear. But forgive me. Certain limitations you got to work with. <laughs> We've got some nice deck chairs here. So we can sit down and play music in case the boat's going down. Keep the music running. Oh, there you are, enjoying a bit of fresh air. Oh, yes, yes, definitely not being uh, lazy at all, just sitting around doing nothing. No, you, you don't look lazy whatsoever. So why wonder I ever got this boat built. <laughs> uh, there you go, that's Hubert and uh, Oolong with a little interaction. Uh, let's go up to uh, the captain's quarters. Oh, no, actually, let's show you the workshop. Uh, where some of the magics happened. This would be below decks. It's not all enclosed because just the amount of time and everything. Um, but just a very simple arrangement that we've managed to uh, put together. I don't know why that canvas isn't showing a picture. It has actually got a picture on it. Um, but whatever. Once the boat would be fully enclosed in, uh, you can see where there's a lot more storage and processing areas uh, available to us. Uh, and from here, we've got the, uh, the grilling. There's the power generator. 
uh, guarded by a Trodon, which is terrifying at night, with the glowing eyes. Uh, yeah, so that's our little workshop kind of area. Uh, and uh, up here we've got, apart from the poker table, if I can manage this with the HUD switched off. Oh, I did. There you go. Here we've got the captain's quarters where Ulon sleeps. He's afforded himself uh, a modicum of luxury, I guess you could say. We've got a uh, an artifact there, the lovely green one. We've got gold and green as a theme going on. Uh, we've got some nice paintings up in the back. Oh, heavens, somebody's uh, green flared us. And over here, we've got Ted. Hello, Ted. Look at Ted. Ted is a dire bear. And you can pet him. Um, and he lets off some wind, apparently. All right, Ted. Lovely. Did it do that again, Ted? Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that. Is it Ted or is it Mare Bear? Who knows? Uh, and then coming out here, we've got a little balcony. Uh, with a view out to the toward the front of the ship. The great uh, ape across there. The big boss. This is all done, obviously, on the center map. If you haven't spotted that by now. Uh, yeah. And then we've got access to the mast. And here we go. Let's go up the top for a, a little look-see. So to make a, uh, a sort of impression of uh, sails that are filled up, I made uh, some thatch pieces and painted them white. And in the recent update that dropped with the center, they actually kind of fixed or improved a lot of the paints, but in particular the white paint. So it actually takes now on like all surfaces properly. So we can finally have uh, white paint going on, which is pretty cool. Uh, this, I guess, could be considered some sort of diving uh, platform. But look at this for a view. Look at this for a view. Marvelous. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was going to be a big dwarven port over there. Um, but unfortunately, other priorities came up. So they never got really around to building that all up. Yeah, there you go. And from here you can sort of see the scale of scale of things. If I go to the orbital camera, you'll uh Yeah. There we go. That's the scale. <laughs> what a ridiculous I'm gonna build a small quaint building. <laughs> Poor Purpley. He's like, what on earth are you doing? Grumbles, what are you doing? How much am I going to have to gather? And every time he asked, I was like, yes. What do you mean, yes? He has like all the things. Amazing. All right. So, yeah, there you go. That is bigger boat. And uh, we're going to let off a few little fireworks now. So fair warning, if you're uh, light sensitive, uh, probably skip forward at this point i'll try and put some chapters in for or a marker for it um but we're gonna throw off a few fireworks and then i'll i'll uh, tag on a little bit of edited footage of flying by on an eagle but there you go we're going to need a bigger boat yes do you have any of those uh, fireworks that would be a great opportunity oh yes yes indeed i do Oh, look at that. Fantabulous. Huzzah! All the fancy different colours. Huzzah! Yeah. I mean, we are some somewhat of a rainbow nation, you know. We 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 shine all 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 the colours they are. Oh yes, of course. The bringer in of the light will be most pleased with seeing that. Oh, they make mm. quite the spectacle. It's delightful. Yes. What's the matter, chicken?
Oh, you've definitely improved since your first attempt. There we go. Magnificent. I fly here, you can't even see the square boat. <laughs> and there we go. The bigger boat. Going to need a bigger boat. I don't know whose base that is up on the hill, but hopefully they're having fun. My first landing with the gamepad. <laughs> don't fall off the end. No! I meant to do that. There's a reason that this ladder's here. There's there's a reason this ladder's here. That might not be... Oh, no! There's a railing there now. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. Oh, that's nice of you. Give Mr. Freeze some fresh air. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was get, uh, getting a bit claustrophobic inside, you know. I figured he'd like to see the outside. All right. Let's do this. Hand a one, hand a two, and a... a wrong button. <laughs> okay, hang on. Hang on. Star, <laughs> that was a good, great... Good, ah, brilliant. After a good job we rehearsed. All right. Hand a one, hand a two, okay. and a... little look around my bigger boat. Feel free to stop on by if you're in the neighborhood, although don't delay dally too long, we'll be launching soon. Yes. Yes. 